Good morning! Let's continue with our lesson. Transaction number 2 on March 3, 2020, Robert Cruz bought 10 computers from Bitstop Company for 350000 on account. What is the effect on assets? Sir, nagkaroon po tayo ng bagong asset, computers. Kaso, inutang po. Ibig sabihin nun, computers being an asset would increase debit computers 350000 and dahil inutang siya, liabilities would also increase. Alin? Accounts payable. How do you increase liabilities again? You credit them because liabilities have normal credit balances. So, credit 350000 I hope you're following. Sure, you are following. Number three. On March 5, 2020, Robert Cruz bought furnitures from Nara Company for 150000 Paying cash. Okay, anong nangyari sa assets? Bumili ng furniture, binayaran ng cash. Ito yung sinasabi natin sa chapter 2 class, if you still remember. Increase in one form of asset, decrease in another form. Ano ang nag-increase? Furniture's debit. Ano ang nag-decrease? Cash, natural, kasi bumili ka for cash. 350 uh, 150,000. Ayan. Next, transaction number 4. On March 10, 2020, Robert Cruz paid Bitstop Company cash of 50,000 as partial payment for the computers bought last March 3, 2020. So, what happened? Nagbayad daw ng 50,000 partial payment. So, yung 350 dito, natural, mababawasan niyan mababawasan din yung ating cash. Okay? Dahil nagbayad tayong utang. Paano mo bawasan ng utang? Debit. 50,000. Okay? Mababawasan ng cash. How do you decrease an asset? Cash is an asset. You credit. Debit 50,000, credit 50,000. Okay? These are the transaction numbers lang. Next. Number 5. On March 2, on March 12, 2020, Mr. Cruz paid a promissory note to Bitstop Company in the amount of 100000 as partial payment of the accounts payable to the company. The liability accounts payable will decrease, tulad ng sabi natin, increase in one form of liability, decrease in another form of liability. So, notes payable will increase, but accounts payable will decrease. Debit accounts payable, credit notes payable, 100,000. Next, number 6. On March 15, 2020, Mr. Cruz paid in cash two weeks salaries of employees in the amount of 15,000. Nagbayad daw ng pasahod, okay? Quincenas, March 15. So, anong accounts affected? Of course, salaries expense. Nagbayad, so mababawasan yung cash. Salaries expense is an expense and expenses have normal debit balances. Okay? Entries, debit, salaries expense to the left side, credit, cash to the right side, 15,000. Tulad ng sabi natin, at all times, every after transaction, dapat balansado yung ating accounting equation. For sure, balance yan. Okay class, so attendance muna tayo. Please let me know you're present by hitting the subscribe button and saying present in the comment section. Bilang reward naman sa'yo sa paggawa mo yan, I will be giving you a free book. So, wala naman makawala sa'yo, subukan mo lang. Ano? Say present in the comment section below. I will be posting my personal Facebook account and you would have to message me there. Sasabihin mo sa akin yung pangalan mo, yung address mo, and then yung name ng school mo. You just try, please. Subukan mo, wala namang mawawala sa'yo. I will be mailing the book to you via LBC at wala kang gagastusin, wala kang gagawin. Bukod sa, syempre, pagdating sa bahay ninyo, tatanggapin mo lang yung libro and that would be it. That would be my gift to you 
for being one of the first few subscribers I would have to choose from the first few subscribers so that would be my thank you gift for you let's continue with the lesson okay number seven on March 18, 2020, Mr. Cruz paid the 100,000 accounts payable to Bitstop from his personal cash. So, 350 initially, nabawasan ng 50 at 100. So, 150 yon ilan na lang ang tira? Ngayon naman daw, magbabayad from his personal cash. Ang sabi natin, this amounts to additional investment. So, mababawasan ng 100,000 yung accounts payable. Paano bawasan? Di debit mo. Okay? 100,000. Okay? Erase lang natin ng konti to. Yan, 100,000. And credit, capital account because it is an additional investment. Take note, it did not affect the cash account title because hindi naman yung cash ng company ang pinambayan. Okay? Number 8. On March 20, 2020, Mr. Cruz paid in cash the rental of the shop from the month of March for the month of March in the amount of 10,000. Similar nature dito sa salary expense. Rental expense, okay? To increase rental expense, you debit. Nagbayad na bawasan yung cash, you credit. It came from the company's cash, the business's cash. So 10,000. Okay. Transaction number 9. On March 23, 2020, Mr. Cruz put 200,000 cash to the business as additional capital. Naglagay uli yung owner ng cash dun sa business. So yung business, tumanggap ng cash. How do you increase cash? You debit it. Okay. 200,000 credit. Additional investment yan. So sa capital account papasok. 200,000. Transaction number 10. On March 25, 2020, Mr. Cruz bought second-hand automobile for business use and paid cash for the total price of 250000 Effect on assets increase, particularly automobiles. How do you increase assets? Debit. 250000 Ano ginawa? Binayaran ba in cash or inutang? Binayaran in cash. So, ibig sabihin, credit. Babawasan mo yung Cash. Next, number 11. As of March 31, 2020, the summary of the cash collections from computer rentals amounted to 180,000. Nakakolekta 180,000. So, cash will increase 180,000. And it must be recognized as revenue or income. Ibig sabihin, income will increase. How do you increase income again? Income has a normal credit balance. So, if you increase it, if you'd like to increase it, you must credit. You must put it in its normal balance. 180,000. Number 12. On March 31, 2020, he paid in cash the following. Sabi, electric bill, water bill, employee salary. Okay? Sabi natin, electric bill and water bill are collectively called Utilities expense. So, similar nature dito sa salaries at saka sa rental. Utilities expense as normal debit balance being an expense account. Debit, 15,000. And aside from that, nagpasahod daw uli. Another debit, 15,000. So, dalawa yung debit mo. 15 and 15. Nagbayad. So, nabawasan yung cash. 30,000. We are now down to our last transaction, number 13. On March 31, 2020, Mr. Cruz withdrew 50,000 for personal use. Entity concept. Okay? The transactions of the owner must be kept away, must be separated from the transactions of the business. So, pag kumuha ka ng cash, it must be properly recorded kahit na ikaw pa yung may-ari. So, ibig sabihin nun, withdrawal. Ano nga uli? Normal balance ng withdrawal? It is debit. So, debit, withdrawal. Credit, siyempre nabawasan yung cash. Credit, cash. Okay? 50,000. Now, what I'd like you to do is to get the balances per T account. Ilan yung balance ng ating cash, computers, so on, so forth. I'll give you time for that. Okay? O, ilan na yung balance ng ating cash. Your debit must be totaled. 
and your credit must also be total. Pagbubungguin mo silang dalawa at kung sino yung nanalo, yun yung balanse ng T-account na yun. Okay? So, pag pinagbunggo mo yung debit tsaka credit, sino mananalo sa cash? Yung debit. Mas malaki by how much? 125,000. Yan. Yung computers, ako nang bahala, huwag ka mag-alala, kaya ko to, huwag ka makikialam, 350,000. Yung furnitures, 150,000. Automobiles, 250,000. Eh, yung accounts payable, 100,000. Yung Bitstop Payable, Notes Payable Bitstop, 100,000. Yung Arcruz Capital, 600,000. Withdrawal, Computer Income, Salary Expense of 30,000, Rent Expense of 10,000, and Utility Expense of 15,000. Ang ginawa natin dito, okay, class, ang ginawa natin ay yung tinatawag na Posting. Okay. We have just posted the transactions in the respective T accounts. Posting yung ginawa natin. Yung ginawa mong pag-total bawat T account, that is called footing. Ayan. So, sana may natututunan ka ha. Footing. And every grand total in accounting must always be double ruled. Kaya pansinin mo, baka mamali ka pa dyan ha, papagalitan ka ng teacher, tandaan mo. Sabi ni Sir Dave, at ganun naman talaga ang correct practice, every grand total must be double ruled. Not single rule, double rule. Ayan. Medyo makulit ka sir, ano, hindi kita titigilan hanggat hindi mo natututunan yung correct way. Kasi yan, simple-simple yan. Ang daming estudyante na mamali ng dahil dyan. Kung strict to yung teacher, mamali ang kanya pagka hindi ka nag-double rule. Ayan. Ayan, balik ulit tayo dito sa malinis na sheet. After mo ma-post at ma-foot lahat ng mga T-accounts, you'll notice, okay, these balances are very familiar. Ito kasi yung mga balances doon sa ating last table, doon sa chapter 2, if you still remember. Okay? For, for those of you who are taking notes, makikita mo na ito yung mga balance doon sa pinakahuling table natin. And syempre, the accounting equation, assets is equal to liabilities plus proprietorship. If you total all of these assets, pakitotal mo nga, it is 875,000. Your total liabilities would be two hundred thousand, and your proprietorship should be how much? Six hundred minus plus minus minus and minus should be six hundred seventy-five thousand. Very obvious, naman. Eight seventy-five minus two hundred, six seventy-five, as evidenced by our supporting. Computation. Now, as we have shown you in the T accounts, you have 875, 200, and 675. Exactly the same as our last table in the previous chapter. We can now make your income statement. Okay, your income statement, as we have already discussed, also shows the performance of the company for a certain period. Ayan, no, for the month ended. Tulad ng nabanggit na natin before, tama? For the month ended, for statement of changes in equity. Financial position or balance sheet as of. So our income here is 125. These are familiar figures already. 675 and 875, 875, perfect balance tulad ng sabi natin in chapter 2. Okay, class. So that's the bell already. That's it for this meeting. So ganon ganon lang, class. A few minutes of your time every day. Imbis na kung ano ano yung pinapanood mo, just make it a habit to watch our videos. Pa bilang tulong narin dun sa sarili mong pag-aaral. Why? Kasi tatandaan mo, hindi lahat ng nababasa mo ng mag-isa ay maririnig mo. At hindi din lahat ng mga naririnig mo ay mababasa mo. Tulungan yan. So with that, see you in our next meeting. See you in the next lesson.